Is she gonna show up? You mean Yuru? Of course not. She basically never shows her face around the society. If the great oracle of the shining sun across worlds came down to Earth all the time, we'd all be reduced to ash. The oracle stays quiet and dormant behind a stone door for the people's sake. Or so they say. You're especially impertinent today, Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah. So, regarding the other world, I need to go to the Saluna and just spend time there? Is that right? Yep. Piece of cake, huh? You're heading to another world within the upper 26 regions of the many worlds, a place like our own. All Stella. Uh, is many worlds supposed to mean something to me? Look, there are many possible outcomes to events. Remember when you couldn't decide whether or not to join us? In this world, you did. But, in another world, there could be a version of you who decided not to join up at all. If they're really endless, how can there be only 26 regions like you said? Hey, Rue? You know what a donut is, right? Taurus-shaped dough rings with a hole in the middle? My guess is all of existence is like a donut. Here she goes again on another one of her far-fetched lectures. The light, the truth, shines in the middle and draws up 26 lines perpendicular to the perimeter of the donut hole. Each of those lines is a single world. The magnificent gradations spanning from each side of a line are worlds of infinite possibilities. And our world, Alstella, is actually just one of those lines. But our world has a unique form. Its baseline has been bisected. And the other branch is what we call the twin world. Okay. But why are there 26 worlds? Who knows? Anyway, for some reason, fates are finite. There's a strong power over the 26 lines that controls and converges them. Fascinating, right? These endless possibilities do change and combine to some extent, which I've christened Fate's Equilibrium. <sighs> Look, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. She's always like this, Nachiru. Let it go in one ear and out the other. <sighs> You're so mean, Doris. After all, no one is closer to the truth about the many worlds besides me. Hey, where's Claris? Huh, seems she didn't show up. What, does that make you sad, Ru? I'm just kinda worried. Come, Nachiru. You must be off soon. Doris, remain here. Let me know if you receive any word from Clarence. Understood. Bye, Nachiru, and good luck. But why me? I don't get what you want me to do, just bounce on over to another world? As much as I'd like to see it, you won't be doing a lot of bouncing. But don't space out too much just because it's boring over there. Your brain will turn to mush. Excuse me? Who do you think I am? Explain it to her, Kit Kat. Simply. Okie dokie. Okay, Rue. Come here. Huh? <laughs> and here we are. Wait. This is my house! Jeez. None of this makes any sense. I'm so confused. My brain can only handle so much in one day. Maybe I could have prepared if I had some kind of warning. My bad, but it's all tip-top secret. Clearance, bureaucracy, blah, blah. I have to confirm this just in case. All that you've seen and heard in the society, you haven't told anyone. Not even a loved one? I haven't. Okay, then on with the explanation. Although, there isn't much more to say. What does this have to do with the Oracle's prophecy? Oh, such a clever girl you are. I'm guessing you probably know why I haven't explained it all to you then. Something about the prophecy being jeopardized if I know about it? That what you mean? Excellent answer. Besides, there's not much for you to do. 
Do whatever you want without being seen by anyone there. You're a great witch, Rue. But a witch with no freedom is no witch at all. Nobody can discover their purpose trapped like a bird in a cage. You're being parabolic again. What do you mean? I don't know, maybe all our actions are decided by fate? Is free will even possible for anyone? That sort of stuff? An already chosen fate is much like a birdcage impeding freedom. And that fate... No. That determined future, challenging it, is what makes you a witch. Whether or not you succeed is a different matter. You'll be there for about two months. I'll be sure to contact you before the night of the third full moon. So make sure you answer. I'll be in touch periodically. Two months. Yep. Well, two months over there, that is. It's only about a week here. You won't be gone long enough for your mother's condition to worsen, probably. Well, that's everything there is to say. Time to go. Wait, but I haven't told my mom I'm leaving. Really? You had plenty of time. Oh, well, leave it to us. We'll spin up a nice story for her. Don't make her worry, okay? You think you can boss me about, little hermit? Besides, Mirage will talk to her, so it'll be fine. For a witch, she has a lot of common sense. The sounds of Nachiru's mother screaming in Mirage's and Mirage's voice can be heard from the entryway. Uh, witch! What are you planning to do with my daughter? <coughs> Nachiru's mother bursts in. Oh, Rue! Mom... It's okay. I'll be gone for just a bit. I've got a can under the cash register filled with money from the store. Use it if you need it. There's enough for you to take time off of work. So please go to the hospital and treat your cold. Wait! Rue! Don't worry. I'll be home before you know it. Madam, we take full responsibility for... There's no way I can trust a witch's words! Rue! Rue! Why does it have to be my house? And my room in particular? Hmm... There's no real reason, but... It seemed like a good spot for it. You'll be more at ease here, right? Anyway, drink this and lie down. Hey, could you at least tell me how to get back? Nope, can't have you scurrying back home on a whim. Jokes aside, this is a part of the prophecy too. This is the twin world. It's different from ours, but it doesn't look that different. However, I think their time period is around the beginning of modern history. So I'm going back in time? <laughs> no. It's just that Aluna's present resembles our past. You might feel like you've gone back in time once you're over there, though. They're two worlds cut from the same cloth, after all. But be careful. The culture is different even when considering the difference in era. Avoid contact with locals as much as possible. Who knows what could happen? If you can't prevent it, do your best to deal with it and cover your tracks. Seriously, Kit Kat? My clothes alone would make anyone over there suspicious. Ugh, come on, you're such a worrywart. It'll be fine. You'll be naked when you arrive. What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay, really. You... Also, don't be surprised if you run into any famous historical figures. You didn't go back in time, so there won't be any sort of paradox or whatever. That's all been scoped out. Nachiru, this is crucial, so I'll say it again. If you come across any magic while over there, you must not interfere with it. Why not? There is a possibility it will result in catastrophic consequences. 
We have little information about their magic. We could expect one thing, but something entirely different may happen. It could be a huge mess, or it could be something trivial. Let's call it quantum volatility. Quantum volatility? <laughs> You're hilarious, Rue. I like your name much better. The parallel worlds interfere with each other. Given the large gap in eras, I don't expect any problems, but it's completely unpredictable. All that does and doesn't exist. Those who live. Those who are deceased. When logic falls apart, there's a chance for a forced distortion. That's all just mere chance, though. Why am I being sent there in the first place? Isn't this super dangerous? Hence why we need you to stay low. What you're saying and what you actually want me to do are total contradictions. I don't understand the objective at all. Why me? It may be best to give her a bit more info. Indeed. You're aware that Yuru has prophesied, right? She said that you're the only one who can do this. And there's only one chance. You can only go there once. That's right. You're the chosen one. The hero. If you complete this mission and return, the upheaval phenomenon will stop. All by me going? Well, it's all a part of the prophecy. Come on, drink this and lie down. So the UP is really gonna just stop if I hang out there for two months? Sheesh, you're so insistent. The Oracle's prophecies are never wrong. Now, hold on to this. It's a protective charm to reach us. Don't lose it. Can I give Nachiru a ring? You're awfully calm about this. You think so? If you fail, then this world will be destroyed. There's nothing scarier than the UP. All set? Medicine, check. Fanti? Huh? Fanti? You're taking little Fanti with you. I'd like to. J just in case. And I am its vessel, so... Huh. I've got no problem with that. That was easier than I thought. There are a lot of unknowns when it comes to wandering spirits. Rumor says there are watchers or arbitrators of sorts, but I think they're more like omnipresent beings that guide you through the world. Since you're its vessel, I'm sure it'll help you out somehow, which helps us out too. I feel better knowing it's with me. I'll be okay with everything else. Oh, before I forget. When you get over there, make sure you eat the food. Anything will do. It's a ritual to acclimate your soul. It'll spread the mana of that world throughout your body. It's like getting used to the water after you move somewhere new. There's just one last thing I want to ask. What's up? You know about my illness, right? Will stopping the upheaval phenomenon cure me? <sighs> Unfortunately, you'll have to live with that for the rest of your life. But I do think you'll be able to slow the progress of your mom's ash affliction. I see. Okay. That's fine. There'll be a marvelous promenade awaiting your victorious return. Hosted by the nation- no. The entire world. It will be a sight to behold. Natru lies down and drinks the potion. Ticket holds her hand tightly. Hmm? Well then. Good night, Rue. Birds can fly, even when their parents never teach them how. Is this... Aluna? It's so dark. Where am I? Some kind of mansion? Fanti, are you around? No? 
but I have the lantern with me. Oh, well. I'll try calling it again later. Looks like nobody's around. Maybe I'll do some exploring. Huh? Paintings are everywhere. What the heck? They're just white canvases. A clock, a globe, and a birdcage? This is a total mess. Guess I'm one to talk, though. Natsuru keeps her wits about her as she does a single tour about the manor. It really looks like no one's around, but it doesn't feel abandoned. Someone must still live here. Funny you point that out, Angelo. Yeah, it never says in the other thing that the paintings are white, just empty canvases. They don't really describe the environment as much as I thought they did. I sort of just filled in the blanks in my head, I think. We've seen this exact room before when we're with one of the guys talking to him, the guy that just will not stop talking. But I have this word idea in my head that the painting was filled back then, wasn't it? If it was white, then I just literally filled in some weird image in my head of it being white. Weird. There's food out. They must have just stepped out. It'll be bad news if I get caught. Oh, that's right. I need to eat food from this world to survive. I'll just borrow some of this. Yuck! Everything reeks of mold. It's safe to eat this, right? Natura continues to grumble and complain as she examines all the different foods. It looks fine. What a picky eater. Molds, though. This room seems pretty comfortable, but if someone walks in, I'm done for. I'll hide in the attic. Yeah. Not sure eats the food that she quote unquote borrowed. Smoked foods aren't half bad, I guess. I don't think anyone's gonna miss it if I take some. I mean, there was so much of it. Oh, before I forget. Fanty? Fanty? You there? No. <laughs> I know. Thanks for letting me know you're not here. Anyway, I'm glad to see you. I feel better knowing you're around. You gave me a scare there. I wouldn't be able to do anything without you. I feel better knowing you're around. Anyway, it looks like I found a nice hideaway in this attic here. Huh? Is this attic? Connected to the hall? Mm. The grate's blocking my view. <gasps> Who is that? That's true spots a lavishly dressed blonde, leaving with what appears to be her maid. Th there were people around? That was close. I hope they didn't see me. She hears a carriage setting off in the distance. Seemed like a noblewoman and her maid. I need to be more careful. Three days later. I haven't seen anyone around for three days. 
There's nothing to do. And there's no one here. Atru looks out the window. It doesn't look like anyone is headed this way either. Maybe this place is usually empty then. I think I'll take a look around the Grand Hall. Whoa. What is this room? And this wardrobe? Natura approaches the giant red wardrobe, observing it cautiously. It's just like Cece said. The wardrobe really does exist. This is exactly like the one at my place. Must be because this world is almost identical to ours. Natura picks up the books at her feet. Let's see. Right now, it's the year 589. So this is around 200 years in the past. The Malveria dynasty, then. The era of monarchs before Alcella was unified. I had my doubts, but this really does look like our past. <laughs> she looks to the source of the noise. A black cat. <laughs> Noir! Wait. You can't be Noir. You're just some feral cat, aren't ya? Come here. <coughs> what is it? Are you hungry? I'm pretty hungry myself. What do you say we go find some food together? Alright. What are you in the mood for? Some jerky? Skinny little boy is digging around, looking for food. <laughs> the boy startles, but escaped through the back door of the kitchen without missing a beat. He saw me. I can't believe it. I've already been made. He might be living on the streets, stealing food like that. But it'll be a pain in the neck if he tells an adult. I need to be more careful. But judging by his reaction, he wasn't expecting to find anyone here. Meow! Go on, eat up. Have some jerky, but don't come around too often, okay? You understand me? I have to be careful about people seeing me. But there's no point in me just doing nothing. Maybe I can give the wardrobe a shot. Metro looks through what Fanti has on hand and notices something. <sighs> I see some unfamiliar stuff. There are puppets, too. Did you make these? Of course you didn't. Where would you even find the time? Anyway, I'll use anything here that can be used. Okay, Fanti. Let's see if we can get some exploring done through this wardrobe. And be careful in there. Is it connected to the apartment? Or is it a totally different space? It might even be a regular old wardrobe. I want to know what's inside. So just head in, take a look around, and bring back what you can. The puppet soldiers you used when fighting with Eureka have been re returned to you, along with all the items you had at the time. Team up with Nachiru's Witch Brigade to create new ones and explore the labyrinth. We have all of our shit back. And a new witch position was added. Relational breakup. Dissolve the relationship between two puppets uh, joined by linkage rings. The relationship may be dissolved, but the truth can't be hidden forever. That costs a lot. Armor clothes, I'll take that. How does it work? We're gonna figure that out. Why does it cost so much? No clue. Also, speaking about cost, our mana and silver is back from the other like, from the other side. Nice. Explore the apartment whenever you please. Hey, I can buy this too.
rehabilitate public soldiers? <gasps> Fuck. 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 No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Everyone suddenly comes out of the woodwork like, So, Reb, I've been thinking. <laughs> Everyone's going like, So, Reb, I've got a five-part plan to make my character great, except all of them have the fucking same idea. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Learn the Fanti Bully Puppet Storage 1. This will increase your maximum puppet soldiers to 60. Create your hearts, get to don't do this to me game. More item storage. Store from 1,600 to 30,000. Or 3,000. 3,000 sounds weird. 3,000, fine. Nothing else is new aside the multiple. Wait. Allow you to save different, uh, save multiple different brigades, which lets you create different configurations for bosses, leveling up, and so on. Fuck you, two game. Fuck you, two. Oh, shit. What about the general store? What is this? New products. What new products? What do you have that can ruin me so? Mana bomb. A lot of them. How to repair solutions. How to represent HP. Jitterbugs. I have my jitterbugs back. Yo. And see a pills. Heals all. It just heals everything. Crunchy garlic. That's all for three turns. Rat tail. That means everyone's back. was my team like originally? I don't fucking remember. Festival pack was in. Which corpse? Of course. Which corpse? Wait, where's the experience one? Yep, here they are. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So. Actually, I'm curious how this game is going to handle this. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to fucking lose my life here. 
That's gonna make these seats so fucking long. <laughs> Calm thyself, Rem. Calm thyself. You may not access transfer souls through the puppet workbench. This way, you'll have to transfer a puppet soldier's soul to a new facet. It can be considered a reincarnation. Their level will be reduced to one after the transfer, but various aspects from the original puppet soldier will carry over. Skills are transferable. Skills that have been learned so far can be transferred to the new puppet soldier. Unique skills can be transferred at level 99. There are no limits to the number of skills that may be learned. When the fast edge changes, so too will the skill points required to learn them, learn skills. Please check the character menu to manage available skills. Open soldiers' soul clarity and the anima can increase. This represents their strength. The increase in soul clarity will depend on the level of the puppet soldier before the soul transfer. A higher the clarity, a higher the skill points and growth of the puppet soldier. Please make the most of soul transfers to create a powerful witch brigade. Fuck you too, game. Just, you know, fuck you too. There's a small problem here, guys. I don't know who is here and who isn't. So like, I don't know who's gonna get. You fucking did, Angelo. <laughs> you fucking did. <laughs> My school is all different names. You bastard! <laughs> oh no! BB Chase Double Sharp? Sure. You know, fuck it. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, of course, right. Hold on, let me get the Labyrinth of Galeria character sheet. And then BB Guy. Who were you in this list? That's our female one named Flan. Alright, let's go and make Flan double sharp then. <laughs> But I'm going to say, hold up a moment on character changes, all right? Give me a second. Let me explain what might happen. Might. All right, guys? Might. I'm gonna guess that everyone who is sharp will want to be moved immediately to double sharp. That can be taken care of. But... I'm gonna reincarnate everyone to level one. If we are going to be playing the game from the first dungeon, exploring again, I'm probably going to move everyone to level one again. I want to see how this game's going to handle it. If we have to explore everything and find all the heroes to art again, then I'm going to say, I'm going to grind off screen everyone to 99 and tomorrow is going to be a whole make everyone level one again stream. And then we explore it from the beginning onward, reliving the growth and all of that. And also unique skill transfers. Yes, of course. That just means today, 
I got fuck off for time. Unless I just find a way to grind everything. So before I change anyone else's cause double shop or anything, let us see what the story's gonna do, and then I'm gonna, you know, find something to eat. Cause I've not eaten, I think, in Let me see, what was the last time I ate? I had dinner at around what? Like seven? Seven thirty ish? Only about what? 17 hours into my last meal? I've, I've done worse trips. Yeah, let's keep going a little bit longer. A new field has been added. Wait a second. My mud exits! My mud exits! Fuck! gone. There goes my mud eggs. That would have easily taken me directly to the fucking thing. Expose the labyrinth and find something for the witch. They say find something, but as far as I can tell... Wait, Narthrex 1. There's something right here. There's a mysterious shadow. It's no monster. Oh, what a calamity! A calamity, I say! The prize treasures! Artifacts is gone! Aluda has been through here! My master will berate me for this. And who are you? The party speaks to the mysterious shadow. I'm number 258,058. Also known as Garden. I oversee the upkeep on this labyrinth. I'm afraid I'm awfully busy. Let me give you this. It's quite precious. Hurry up and be gone, please. Redstone dust. Goodness. The other artifacts are in danger. Master will scold me if the if the worst happens. Goodness, busy. Oh, so terribly busy. Garden quickly scurries away. Maybe it's gone to check on the other curious art. He sends faint mana from the item you found. Head back and report to the witch. All right, so they might explain just what's going on. Timeline-wise, probably. Where are we? And are we just going to be adventuring after our current party? Or will you be the party and what's going on? Let's see. Three days later. <sighs> that slimy blob still isn't back yet. <sighs> I'm so bored. What's this? A note? What's it say? Natura is startled by, a loud, by the loud noise. She dances up to the second floor of the tribunal. Uh, tribunal. Is that a person? They, they didn't see me, right? Oh, they might have heard me, though. I'm now very aware of your blinking, sir. Judging by his clothes, a noble? Guess I didn't hear the sound of the carriage. That was close. It's definitely too dangerous to walk around while it's still light out. The well-dressed noble reads a letter. While I'm aware that my work here is not done, I shall be taking my leave of your service. <sighs> Honestly. They're all only witches in name. How dare she leave without any results? She asks for an alchemy pot, an assistant, this, that, and now she has the audacity to leave? He rips up the letter and slams it in the hand onto the table angrily. Huh? Someone else is coming? 
Hello! Hey, I can see the entrance from here. Hmm. And you are? Huh? Oh, me? <laughs> State your name in business. Nothing more. I saw the job flyer about how you're looking for help. Oh, I know! Rika sheds her coat before fumbling to open up her trunk and pull out a crumpled, tattered document. Here you go! This is my academic record! The well dressed man flips through it. Through. Disinterested. Miss Eureka. Hmm. According to this. You do appear to be quite a talented scholar. Very well. You're hired. Now. The well-dressed noble backhands Riga across the face out of moment's hesitation. What a horrible thing to do. <gasps> Whoa. What's his deal? He just slapped her out of nowhere. You must always introduce yourself by stating your full name, followed by your business. I shan't accept carelessness while you're here. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Bismont. <laughs> Bismont strikes her once again. You shall call me Count Bismont, or simply my title, Count. I expect this incident will not repeat itself. Y yes, Count. <laughs> This guy screwed up. What the heck's up with his violent outbursts? Are we in, like, the Middle Ages? Still, that girl there is pretty slow on the uptake. What an airhead. Normally, you would be an assistant to the witch I've hired. But she happens to be... gone at the moment. Your job for the time being will be to maintain the upkeep of the manor, as well as other miscellaneous tasks. Understood? Y yes I'm good at housework, so leave it to me! I'll do my best! Very well. I shall show you around the manor. This is your room. As with the furnishings in the manor, you're free to use anything here as you wish. But the northeast room and the abandoned... Uh, but... someone's staying here already, right? Excuse me? I can assure you it is vacant. Though, it is quite possible a feral cat or some local brats may have been sneaking about. Animals and children are evil incarnate when it comes to art. They simply don't understand their value. Never allow them into the manor. Huh? But just now, the attic. It felt like there was someone up there. Who goes there? A feral cat? Damn it. No more. Ah! Natura loses her balance and tumbles down from the attic head first. Ow. What do we have ourselves here? A thief? Tumbleton picks up the saber in the room and presses the blade against Nachiru's neck. The shock of having a real blade pressed against her neck causes Nachiru to have an accident. Um, uh, uh, I, I'm... Uh... Wow! The, those black clothes of yours! Are you a witch? Uh, yes. I'm the witch you're looking for. The, uh, the witch of Soot. I am Nachiru, the witch of Soot. Whoa! That's amazing! This is my first time seeing a witch! Can I call you Madam Witch? Um... I heard you were looking for a talented witch, Count. Uh... Uh-huh. <laughs> a witch? Count Bithmon withdraws the saber. I see. Based on your appearance and manner of speaking, I believe you are not, in fact, a thief. While I don't appreciate your curious... entrance, I suppose it is to be expected for a witch. Very well. 
I shall allow you to prove yourself. Should you fail, I shall view your words as the ramblings of a thief and relieve your head from your body. Do you understand? Uh... Yes, sir. Please, come this way. Allow me to explain the secret behind Galeria Manor. While you may not believe me, there is a massive labyrinth below the manor proper. Through this wardrobe... And that concludes the explanation. Right. I believe I can do this. No, no, I know I can. Say what you will. All the so-called witches that came before you promised the same. I care not for words, but for results. You may use anything in the manner as you please, so long as you perform your task. Ah, yes. This young lady I brought into my employment is a maid here. She shall henceforth be your assistant. A witch! So you really are a witch! Uh, um, Eureka! I'm Eureka! Pleased to meet you! This girl... When I look at her up close like this, she kind of looks like Yuru. Hmm? Abyssal gives Rika another slap. Ah! I will not accept a lack of manners in my presence. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have something to say? N no. Nothing. Then I leave the rest in your hands. Since you claim to be a witch, I expect you to retrieve the appropriate items from underground. Sir. Town Bismont turns and climbs up the stairs. <laughs> what are you staring at me for? Just so you know, it was your own damn fault you got slapped. You're so hard to deal with. Let's get changed before we catch a cold. You can leave the laundry to me. Shut up, you. I'll do it myself. Huh? What? But that's my job. <clears throat> Come to the drawing room after you've changed. I shall give you a thorough explanation of the history behind this manor, as well as your duties. I've safely researched a or reached a Luna. The place in question is a large manor. Be coincidence or fate, it's known as Galeria Manor. It's filled with works of art, and though at first appearance to be abandoned, people come and go constantly. There are rumors of a gallery beneath the manor, said to house works of art, but I do feel some similarity Emma, to Alstella. To date, I can confirm several locals, including the residents. Of those locals, only one exactly like Yuru. She doesn't seem all that smart, but I don't think their similarities end with their looks. Count Bismont, the owner of the manor, is a dangerous man. He's already threatened me with a blade. I really thought he'd kill me. Obviously, I made contact with the locals, but I'm doing my best to ensure that I will see out my two months here in peace and stability. There. That should do it. I need to keep a record of everything. But... I definitely can't let anyone in the society know I've made contact with the locals. Fanti! You're finally back. I was worried about you. Let's see... Alright! You brought something back! It does look like there's some mana in it. It's the same kind of thing you found back at the apartment. I should probably hand this over to the Count as proof, but I don't think this is what Cece was talking about. She said she wanted items that have higher levels of mana and with anima auras. Well, I'll take a look and see what you got up to with the auto report. I see. I guess this place is completely different from the apartment. The labyrinth in the apartment is more like a copy of reality, 
but this place feels like an actual underground labyrinth. And what's with this Garton Manania? I guess it's not that strange to come across something that talks, given all the weird stuff down there. It looks like a pretty big labyrinth, so we might find a few clues if we just keep exploring. Madam Witch! Madam Witch! Are you there? You could at least knock. She does seem older than her. But the more I look at Eureka, the more she resembles Yuru. There must be a connection. Hey! Let's hang out once we're done with work, Nachi! The hell? Who do you think you are, calling me Nachi? Huh? How old are you, anyway? Me? <laughs> I'm 16! How old are you, Madam Witch? I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm a witch, so... Um... I'm 316. No. Wait, I just turned 317 the other day. Oh, wow! We're the same age! I'm gonna be 17 <laughs> soon, too! Hey, I said I'm 300 and... I'm so happy to meet someone my age! Ah, enough! Leave me alone! Go on! Get out! Sleep in a closet or something. Huh? What? No! Nachiru shoves Eureka out of the room. Ugh. Just looking at her pisses me off. She reminds me way too much of Yuru. The ring that Kit Kat gave Nachiru trembled and starts to glow. Yoo-hoo! Can you hear me? Kit? The light from the ring sways in the air, like a thread before coming to form a projection of Kit Kat. Hey, Aru. Having fun over there? Does it look like I am? Well, it's not like I can see you. It's pretty tough to use projection magic across worlds. I hope you can see me, but it's a shame I can't see a single thing on your end. I can only hear you. I can see you just fine. If it's so tough to use projection magic, then why did you bother? Hearing you's enough. Oh, I went through the effort of making sure you'd see my pretty face because I thought you might be lonely. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, Claris isn't going to contact me? She hasn't been around since you last saw her. What do you expect from our prima donna? You'll just have to settle for me until she's back. Anyway, how are you holding up? Nobody's seen you, have they? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, they haven't. Really? That's a relief. Keep up the good work, then. What good work? It's not like I have anything to do. I just have to stay here for two months, don't I? Yeah, I guess. Only God knows why. I guess I should say only Yuru knows. I have no idea what you're talking about. Actually, there's someone that looks exactly like Yuru over here. What's up with that? It's probably just your imagination. You might be in a twin world, but it's not the same era. She can't possibly be Yuru. If that were true, then we've got doppelgangers over there too. But she could be some ancient ancestor of Yuru's or something. Who knows? Really? <laughs> I was just running my mouth. Huh? What? I can never tell when you're joking. I see. You're going through a rebellious phase, huh? Make sure you take care of yourself. You've got that disease to worry about. By the way, did you see anyone else? The guy that owns this place and some kid. Oh, and a fancy-looking lady. Are they historical figures? No idea. The Count looks like a regular noble, but the lady was dressed like royalty or something. She even had a maid. I see. That might be Queen Luvalier. She was the seventh queen consort. They called her the Queen of Blood. She died on the guillotine at 62. There are records that mention she traveled a lot from the capital to her manor in the country. I'm guessing she's still... 
mid-50s over there? It doesn't seem like she lives here. Hmm, this is more unstable than I expected. Let's leave off here. I'll contact you when I can, but the connection can get pretty spotty. Make sure you hide the ring if you think you're gonna get caught. Got it? We're all rooting for you, Rue. Wait, how's my mom? She's in the hospital right now. She hasn't gotten any worse since you last saw her, but Madame Jill Ruta convinced her to go. Don't worry about the cost of treatment. The society's gonna cover it. Are you sure? Well, it's not like she's gonna take a turn for the worse. She'll be out in a few days, but like we've said before, there's no cure for the UP. I got it. All right, the rest is up to you. Make sure you don't make contact no matter who you see. And don't worry too much. Oh, and make sure not to lose the ring, okay? I won't be able to get in touch if you do. See ya! Kit Kat's projection vanishes. I can't tell Kit I've already made contact. All right, I'm gonna hand over what you found to the Count. Can you locate the really powerful curio that Cece wanted? It should be the matching set to the ones in the apartment. Maybe seven or eight? Head underground and find them, please. Nachi! Food's ready! Hey! I thought I told you to knock. Aw, but I just can't help it! We're the same age and you're a witch! She's definitely not Yuru. Hmm? 